Hi everyone, this is Javier from DIY Sandbox. I'm here to introduce a new product, an Arduino Wi-Fi shield that we call Hydrogen. In this short video, I will do a quick unboxing, show off some of the components and features, and then do a quick LED demo where we change the color of LEDs using a web browser. All DIY Sandbox products come in these reusable anti-static shipping boxes. As you can see, your board comes completely encased in foam and should arrive to you in perfect working order. Taking the chip set out of the box, I'll give you a better view of what we've got. Here's a quick look at the features in the board. You get true 802.11b wireless capability through GainSpan module, a micro SD card holder for additional storage, selectable ch chip selects, reset button, and three pulse modulated LEDs that which can provide you with any color that you can think of. We've also enabled existing Arduino Ethernet library capability and we have a hardware and software UART connection directly to the Wi-Fi module. We will, we will be making continuous improvements to the software libraries and giving you new features and functions on a regular basis. Check out our website at DIYSandbox.com for more information and follow us on Twitter at DIYSandbox to get all of our updates. Here we've set up a quick demo to show how the control software can be used to change hardware's behavior via a network connection. In this case, we're going to use the web browser on my iPhone. We have our Arduino Uno and our hydrogen. And I'm going to install the hydrogen onto the Arduino, like so. And now it's ready to use. I'll plug in the power source. And once we have a green LED, we know that the, the network connection has been made to our network. Great, now we have our connection made. So now I can connect to the hydrogen directly and change the color of the LEDs. Show you on my phone. I've connected to the network, DIY Sandbox, and I've loaded our web page, which is a super simple test web page. I'm going to refresh the page just so, just so you can see that it loads. And as you can see, there's a drop down for the color and a button that says change color. So in this case, it's on red. I press change color and the LED changes to red. If I choose a different color, say white, and press change color, it changes to white. Change it to magenta, changes it again. So as you can see, with a super simple test, we can use hydrogen to wirelessly control the behavior of an Arduino. This gives us unlimited freedom to control our DIY projects from anywhere in the world. We'll run through the rest of the colors just so you see that they all work. There's yellow, cyan, magenta, and we'll go back to red. Thank you very much for watching our demo. Please check us out at DIYSandbox.com and follow us on Twitter at DIYSandbox.